night, Drip Beef, I use Chuck Roast. Chuck Roast is one of my favorite roasts. It's really marbled with nice fat. It does take a long time to cook, but that's what's so great about Drip Beef. I've been seasoning both sides of the Chuck Roast with plenty of salt and pepper. And now I've got some oil and butter on high heat in this pot, and I'm going to sear the Chuck Roast. I'll just set it in there, press it into the pan, and I'll just let it sit for a minute and sear. I want to get as much color on the outside as possible and a little bit of crust. Okay, I stripped some leaves off of a couple of rosemary stems, and I'll just mince it up. Hyacinth uses prepared Italian seasoning and throws it in, but I really like the flavor of fresh rosemary. It's so delicious. Okay, I'll check on the beef. Should be ready to turn. Oh, yeah, it looks great. The heat on this pan is really high, so it's taking no time at all. Okay, now I'll turn the heat down a bit, and I'll add the rest of the ingredients to the pan. I'll add some beef stock, about two cups. I love that sizzle. That makes me very happy. Okay, and then I'll add a cup of water. Okay, now this is the secret ingredient, and the first time Hyacinth told me about it, I said, say what? But it really makes a difference in drip beef. It's a whole jar of pepperoncinis, and I add the juice and all, everything from the jar. Pepperoncinis are just little mild peppers. They're pickled, and I just love the flavor. I put them on pizza, on sandwiches, and they cook down with the beef, and they become part of the sandwich eventually. They are so delicious. I'll make sure all the peppers are in the liquid. Now I'll add the minced rosemary. The flavors in drip beef are out of this world. I absolutely love them. Okay, now I'll just stir it around a little bit. If you like to use a slow cooker, drip beef is perfect. You just turn it on and walk away. This is looking great, so I'm just going to put the lid on, let it simmer for four and a half, five hours, and it is going to be perfect. After the cooking time was over, I removed the peppers from the pot, then I let it all cool, then stuffed the pot back in the fridge overnight. The drip beef is waiting at the lodge for us, and we're going to head there and eat. You ready to eat, boys? Yeah! Next, I'm turning that tender meat into the most incredible drip beef sandwiches. Getting a step ahead has never tasted so good.